Okay. So someone asked me the question, uh, the Tibetan book of, I think it was dying or death. And they, that in the book, they talked about being in the hell realms, but realizing it was an illusion was a way out. And just to talk on that. So the way I sort of see it, I mean, hell, you know, hell, heaven, uh, and this world of purgatory, what's the difference? Well, it's just like, if you imagine, uh, in this world, the consciousness is identified with the physical body. And so one is hooked into this world in the physical body and is, um, you know, perceiving, if you like, through the physical body and is sort of tied into this world. The opportunity in this world, being in the physical body, is that um, uh, you, one gets to experience a world where you can have uh, very wide differences of uh, levels of consciousness. So you can have Buddha, you know, living in Tibet, and you can have Adolf Hitler in Germany, and all, or we can, we can all meet up together. So you can have saints and uh, dictators and uh, and uh, and uh, all in the same world, because the physical body allows diverse levels of consciousness to all interact in the same world. Hence, giving uh, a wide uh, a wide experience for making physical choice uh, to make uh, spiritual choices in this world now if one unhooks from the uh, so as one is making choices in this physical world purgatory the place of maximum choice because you know you have you can become uh, you can become a student of enlightenment or you can dis join the local satanic club you know the level of choice in this world is so extreme so I could be uh, doing uh, black witchcraft or Satanism, or I could be pursuing enlightened teachers, and I have that choice in this world in which direction. Now, you could say that those choices, while I'm in the physical body, are sort of uh, have you know, one way to visualize it is having an effect on the ego, the density of the ego, or you could say the karma, or the positive karma, the negative karma, or the, um, you know, so, if I've, I've decided that I'm going to be a Satanist and go around killing everyone in this lifetime, then that means that when I unhook from the physical body, my vibration, if you like, or my uh, level of consciousness will be that which will mirror, you know, uh, darkness and, you know, killing and uh, all those various unsavory things. And so when I leave the physical body, I'm now, you know, you could say the vibration of my spirit is now going to be attracted to the astral realm, uh, which most um, most um, closely correlates with my my vibration. So typically, we call those. I'll just uh, drift off into the appropriate spiritual realm, astral realm, which is um, in alignment with um, with you know that vibration. You know, it's a general vibration. You could say it's a low vibration or a hellish realm, where you know everyone's got. Um, uh, you know, we're all into torture and killing and, and uh, having these views. So we can all get on together trying to kill each other, you know, in that hellish realm. Um, if I've spent this whole lifetime, you know, um, trying to love everyone and forgive everyone and see Christ in everyone and bless everyone and, and do good service in the world, and I spent my whole life doing that, then when I unhook from the body, you could say my level of consciousness or my karma of my spiritual vibration will be, I will now match um, a, a higher vibration in the astral realms. Those are typically called the heavenly, heaven, heavenly realms. If I'm going into a dualistic heavenly realm, meaning there's still form, you know, I could be in a spiritual realm where everyone's trying to be nice, we're, we're singing hymns and uh, we're just all nice to each other. Or I could go to an, a non-dual heavenly realm, you know, just be in eternal heavenly light for eternity. So those are like the uh, heavenly or spiritual realms, or I could go to the darker realms. It's just, those are just labels, whether you call it a heavenly realm or hellish realm in the uh, spiritual realms, uh, which, which I now correlate with. Um, if you're, I mean, like, uh, uh, if you were probably speaking to Buddha, he'd say like, well, it's all illusions. Because once you're enlightened and realize that whatever is witnessed or when you're in, you've transcended all attachments and all form and all limitation, 
then it's quite easy, even if you mistakenly ended up in a hellish realm, you, would, you wouldn't hook into it. And so you wouldn't be eligible. And so you would just uh, leave that realm immediately because you wouldn't be identifying with it and would reject it uh, as an illusion. So, um, so you wouldn't stay in those realms. You can refute them and, and, stay, and stay in the observer or stay with God. And so don't need to get your ticket into them. Um, experientially, I think we've all had those out-of-body experiences in where you're not actually having a normal dream, but you're, uh, you know, I, I really do believe I uh, had an experience of visiting a hellish realm one night time where it just feels real. It's very dark and gloomy. I remember being in a dark, gloomy street with these horrible teeth, you know, coming after me. So, um, so uh, that's just probably a visit to one of the darker realms. Uh, I sort of, uh, in my darker days, I sort of um, was eligible to pay a little visit to that place. Anyway, I'll stop recording that. Uh, and